I tackled the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. In this video, you will see me start right from the start of the DLC, plunge into the depths of hell and enjoy the beautiful landscapes and then back into the depths of hell. And just a disclaimer, I did use summons. However, I played the game however I wanted to play. So here we go. Roy's are setting out for his first baby steps. Woo! Take a look at the scenery, guys. Just trying to get my bearings. I've done a little bit of exploring, finding new enemies. Some strong, some formidably weak, and just wanting to spare my ability as it's been a while since I've played. Then I realized there's some enemies that are just way overpowered, as this is Elden Ring. I immediately found a backhand blade and little did I know this would be one of the most badass weapons in the game and I would fall in love with it. I mean, look at that anime dodge. How sick is that? Looks pretty cool too. I found my first scad tree blessing and immediately began to realize this is how you level in the DLC rather than runes. So I started exploring a little bit more and generously finding a few more and I was thinking maybe I'm a little bit overpowered. I faced some formidable foes the same as in my backyard, just 10 times bigger. Oh! Found the Spirit Ash Blessings, and this obviously buffs your spirit. I quickly began to realize that despite finding these and coming off to a great start, I was still pretty underpowered. I think I'm too underleveled for here. And little did I know, at the top of this castle, I'll be facing the first of many bosses. I mean, look at this thing. And this monstrosity wanted to verse me. Trying to learn its moveset, I started to realize it was just spammy and annoying despite its appearance, and I had a serious skill issue I was under leveled, so I decided to just dip away and verse a little mini boss, and that ended the exact same way. So I swung a leg over back onto my trusty torrent, exploring what the beautiful thing is, Elden Ring, and it finally came across a familiar foe, which was kind of nice. I immediately found another weapon that I became interested in. Oh, me lady! However, after trying it, I wasn't really feeling it, so I went back to the godskin peeler. And then I came across this guy. Seriously? Screw this guy. Dude! Please tell me that was the boss. Avoiding him, I decided to go further through the castle, getting more checkpoints and then finding another enemy who was, you know, stupidly strong. And I'm dead. And then I struggled to even get oh there. Oh my god. So, back on torrent. Frick, what is that? So... I traveled around and got a few more scad trees and decided to verse the divine beast again with the same result. So I said, let's change a weapon and that ended the same way. Godskin peeler didn't matter. I just kept on dying. I felt worthless, maidenless. Then I realized I had no talismans equipped. So I had to go back to the original Elden Ring, equip them and it led to the same thing anyway. But this is Elden Ring, of course. So I just said, it's a skill issue. I pursued and I just Spammed a couple of abilities, and not gonna lie, this was my crutch, and we done it. We bloody got there. Yes! 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 Knowing that the next boss was awaiting, I decided to go back to the Divine Beast once again, and I was just humiliated. However, I was starting to learn the moves. I was starting to learn that this is Elden Ring, and it makes you a better player. Ever so slowly, I was getting to the next stage, getting the health bar ever so lower, and then all of a sudden, it just started to click. Finding my new bound strength, I knew no limits until I hit this pain. So once again, I chucked a Yui and started to do a little bit more exploring. And then I stumbled across this dungeon, which would be the first of many. Holy. Excited and ambitious, plunging into the depths, facing new foes alike, getting an odd jump puzzle here and there. I actually started to feel like I was in Elden Ring. Getting lost on the way and then getting ganged up on. No! 
Something tells me he's not tiny. Then to my surprise, he was quite easy. Feeling ever so strong, I decided to go back to this black gold knight and the same result. So I decided to level up these weapons as I absolutely loved them. Done some more exploring, tried to get some good karma and lay a decent message for someone. Then I found this random portal and I was like, you know what, this usually is a bad thing, but we'll try it anyway. And while the view was spectacular, I was unfortunately Right, as I quickly learned, I was severely underleveled once again. Okay, sucking up my pride, having to go back to the first boss that you're meant to verse, and I was having so much trouble with. Like, I just couldn't get this guy. And even hurt me more, the fact that he was using my old guts build sword. Then I got good. Feeling once again a little bit more powerful but still underpowered in this game. I've done a bit more exploring and what way to level up than going into an endless catacomb. I hate these bloody places, man. After what seemed to be an endless catacomb, I found the boss at the end and I think this took me only a handful of tries. It actually wasn't too bad. Then Elden Ring decided to show me mercy. Let's go. I found another fragment. So I wanted to show off my newfound strength to this knight and got immediate humbled. So what better way to humble yourself than versing Rolana? The Twin Moon Knight. I heard stories about this being one of the hardest bosses in the early game. I challenged her more times than I wanted to show in this recording. However, I eventually got it down pat thanks to the Mimic Tear. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I got extremely lucky, but I'll take it. I bloody done it. I beat her. Went into a random cave and popped out at this village and did not expect a grace. Slotted it around, taking in the beautiful scenery. Did I mention that this game's beautiful? I don't think I did. Stumbling across yet another dungeon and ah, familiar place. Stumbling across a couple of ah, uh, not so friendly teapots and found an awesome armor set that I will have absolutely no use for. Luckily, this boss was one of the squishiest I versed yet. Got my way out of the first hell hole and done a bit more exploring and then bumped into these guys. Then I found this castle and I was like, surely a boss fight, right? Then I made my way to the big castle and this place was a maze, not to mention these guys. Making my way through the maze and eventually defeating some hard enemies, I got to the top. And little did I know what was coming. That Holy. Thomas, it seemed. In the embrace of Mesmus Flame. Like, what am I doing here? I am well over my head. I can't even defeat normal bosses, let alone this guy. But hey, I thought I'd have a crack. So I decided to take on this bloody big hippo and yeah, that didn't end well. Went to find more scad tree blessings. And will you look at that? Elden Ring actually rewards you when you're curious, not trying to rush it. I knew I was pretty close to beating this hippo and I was thinking that fragment was gonna make the difference. I had no more excuses. It was just me and this hippo and my mimic tear. Quickly realizing that I didn't even get to his second phase before and I had to verse this bloody big porcupine, I eventually got it. And then I started to realize, I think I'd done this castle the completely wrong way around. This was the way I was meant to start off, hence why I was struggling so bloody much. Then I found a secret passage, which I legit found by myself, and I was pretty proud about that. And then I was thinking, oh my gosh, what kind of underworld is this gonna put me in? And lo and behold, the Skadu Altus. And I realized, whilst having my ah beautiful moment before, this is what I was looking at and just made me appreciate this game. Everywhere you look, you can go. But enough time for diddly daddling. I had to pick up some armor that I could not use once again. Then I took on some not so expected uh, weak foe. Even though there was not but one, but two, they weren't too bad. And giving me the fragments I needed, I went back to the castle. 
done some more exploring, plunged even deeper, and I think I had accidentally found a way out. So I decided to challenge Mesmer, and then overnight, this happened. Just a bit of a heads up, guys. Between playthroughs on my previous playthrough, and now I've logged in on a new day, they've released this update. I'm using Summon, so I suppose my opinion's invalid. I'm having fun with the game the way it was, so this is, I guess you could say post nerf Elden Ring. After a couple of attempts, he was still hard, but I didn't give up. I don't know, could be me or that felt a little bit easy now. Am I God? Not sure how I was feeling about my triumph. I pushed through and finally got to the ancient ruins where I actually belonged this time. And then I seen this guy. I was like, oh, surely it's just a crucible night. What could he be doing? What the hell? Sorted him out and then I took a leap of faith with messages from other players. Then I uh, didn't expect precious item. Continued to make my way through and before you know it, I was at Romina, the saint of the bud. And I never thought I'd say this on a demi god boss but ah uh, didn't expect weak foe first try easiest boss in the game then i got to an unexpected pivotal moment in the game i was burning the shadow of the erd tree ah. oh my gosh i was in the enra ilm or however you say it and elder ring just had to ruin the peace oh my gosh dude and guided by other players messages i got to the top and as i realized i was getting closer to the end game so were the enemies and they were tough as nails so i just avoided them and just completely beelined it for the next checkpoint picking up a fragment on the way i was still nowhere near the strength i wanted to be so on to youtube shout out to gosu noob who actually put pointed me in the direction of the castle where there was a back gate I didn't know about and some big dude on a bloody boar that I had to beat. And whilst I kept dying to this guy, I knew this was my only way to get stronger. I went to the top to see our gorgeous view. Whoa. And then something incredible. W! Oh my gosh. With a bit more YouTube, I found a well-hidden fragment that I would not have found on my own. Let's go. Then I started to feel super strong. The enemies that once crippled me before, I had no trouble with now. Getting another checkpoint with another little trio boss fight that was kind of unexpected and kind of easy. I climbed up even more stairs and little did I realize what was at the top. Oh hell. Dude, I haven't even, I haven't even explored the whole map. Pain. Bruh, I haven't even unlocked all this. So back on Torrent I go, found another dragon and fought the dragon. More YouTube, more exploring, and then found this beautiful location and then another dragon. I haven't seen one of these guys in a while, which is kind of nice. Fought some more big dudes, found another dungeon, followed by this guy who wasn't too bad, thanks to my mimic. Which led to this place, which consisted of this guy and let's just say, I don't want to talk about it. Then I stumbled across this eerie looking place, opened up some big doors and lo and behold, I found a secret passage. Thanks mate. Then making my way through this never ending library, I seen this ill tarnished maidenless looking fella. I poked him with my sword and yeah, he kind of didn't like it. Enough. Then I made my way over to the scatter tree base or however you call it and you know what this looks like, a boss fight. This guy gave me so much grief. I got him the first time and didn't realize 
you had to kill him three times. Nonetheless, after like 30 plus attempts, we got it done. Back on the YouTube, coming in clutch, because I needed to get through the Dragon's Peak, and for the life of me, I could not figure it out. Made my way through, finding some interesting fellas in there, got raided, and then it led to the Dragon's Pit, finally. First, the Ancient Dragon Man, who had an insane attack, however, he was a big marshmallow. Made my way further into the foot of the Jagged Peak, and once again, got greeted by a couple more dragons, done some more climbing, and then seen our familiar boss-looking arena. And I knew this was going to be a big one. I mean, check out this arena. I had no idea what I was in for. What the hell? This went down to the wire, but we got the job done. Got greeted by another dragon, an ancient one at that. Watched two dragons beat each other up, and I said, enough is enough. I am ready. Oh my god, there's three of us. Does this count? Bit of an awkward moment though. Turns out you can't Discord stream whilst recording on OBS. So I fought him and when I beat him, the gameplay just froze. So here's me helping some other dudes beat it as like a bit of a, you know. But I done it, alright? I done it. I'm sorry. Let's go guys. Okay, I'll take all aggro. I don't have the footage of me actually beating him, but you know, I'm here with the side of grace. Fantastic game, 10 out of 10.